right, look at what's happening out here. We've got tents set up everywhere. Oh, look at the terrarium footstool. Vintage jewelry. Oh, there's so many great pieces here. How do you choose? When I go shopping, rust and dust are a must. So much fun stuff and variety. I think that's what I love the most about these kind of events is the variety. Every dealer brings something different. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Today, there is something very special happening over at the Charleston Antique Mall, and I'm gonna go check it out. It's a little outdoor parking lot, flea market, celebration kind of a thing. And uh, these are usually my favorites because the vendors are very motivated to sell stuff because, well, they're gonna have to pack it back up and, and put it away afterwards. So I love shopping these events. So let's get out there, let's see what we can find, Let's get shop done. So I had to park way over on the side because it's pretty busy in the parking lot. And I've got most of it blocked off for the event. But let me just say that the Charleston Antique Mall is just down the street from the Good Stuff Thrift Store. So if you come here, come on down to the Good Stuff at 1401 North Decatur. And uh, if you come to the Good Stuff, come down and check out the Charleston Antique Mall. It's a win-win. All right, look at what's happening out here. We've got tents set up everywhere. Sounds like there's gonna be some loud music, so we have to be careful of that. But uh, let's check it out. 60s cigar purse with loose side handle. <gasps> oh, look at the terrarium footstool. Mid-century, it's even got those kitschy plastic roses in there. That's pretty amazing. A lot of vintage clothing in this space. Needlepoint purses. Look at the top of that one. Wow. Oh, goodness, goodness. I don't even know what I am on the hunt for. Just whatever gives me a sparkle to my eye. That's what I'm looking for. Ooh, gorgeous jewelry. Cameos. Beautiful. Oh, you know how I love me shells. Do you love me? So I don't really need any right now though. I have so many, but I like finding real coral. How much is your little coral pieces? How much are the little coral pieces? Or like, like this one? This is 20. Okay. Okay. Thank you. This little tortoise shell purse. Can't really open that one handed. 95. So far, prices are not what I can do. Now I can do $10 though. Look at this little hand painted gourd birdhouse. That's pretty awesome for 10 bucks. All right, all right, I may end up with that. I saw a little party light pumpkin over here for 20. Demdaco. I don't know Demdaco made mugs. Uh. Oh, that's awesome. It's a pretty bird feeder. I'm always looking for bird feeders. I think I'm gonna come back though, because anything I buy, I have to carry. 
So, I'll swing back by and if it's meant to be, it's gonna still be there. Blomenfeld? Blomenfeld. I really like that. That's nice. That's a beautiful piece of Murano. Look at the base. It's very hot already. Oh, there's Jordan's favorites. He has only $5. All right, we're getting him. Well, you can kind of guess this is coming home with me. All right, so put him over here. And we're gonna get, oh, I don't want that to fall. Get him. There we'll weight that back down. How much is the Murano bowl? <laughs> Sorry, the music is really loud. <laughs> One eighty. Yeah. Okay. That would have been a beautiful song to dedicate to your boyfriend. I thought so too. What do you think? Yeah. I want this guy too. I'm gonna get this one too. That is a really fun piece right there. See. Okay. Look at these little guys. Oh, look at all the bounds. Mid century glasses. So now, what I'm thinking is that just a lot of the dealers from inside just brought their stuff out with the prices that it has on it on the inside so I'm not sure we're gonna find a whole lot but we're gonna have fun trying vintage jewelry five dollars for that set oh now that's pricing I can get behind that's a really cool set for five dollars it's a necklace a bracelet and earrings okay we are going to get that one. Fifteen on that one. Oh my gosh, look at all these kitty cats. There's one in particular that's really drawing me. This guy right here. How much are your pins? Ten is crossed out on that, so I wonder. Oh, it's eight. These are clip-on earrings oh, with little charms. I am fascinated by those. I'm going to pick those up for $8 too. Some great pieces at some great prices here. It's a $20 set worth every penny. It's fascinating. I'm finding out how much the kitty pins are. Those are really cute. Little guy is 20. Oh, they says they're two to ten dollars. All right, let's pick out some kitty cats. All right, I'll show you what I got in a minute. Look at this brooch with earrings. Look, he's spectacular. He's twenty dollars, but and you know I cannot leave. Oh well, I know he's thirty-five. But you know, I cannot leave without him. There we go. That's what I'm coming away with. All right, let's see what else is over here. I like these little tapestry pins. Just as a reminder of a different time. Really cute. Let's see how much she wants. Mm -hmm. Oh, this would be 
$6 on this one, but I love it. Let's add that to the pile too. And this one for $6. Look at this cool set. It's screw back earrings. They're birds. And that is a brooch, $10. We're gonna grab that one too. And lots of little critters in this one. I think I see a couple that I want. Nothing's over $5 in here. So let's grab the little, the little fish. And I do like this pheasant. Do you like him? These are all 15. And let's see who else we need out of here. Ooh, Krabby. Gotta have the Krabby too. And the one the pile, yeah, those are the right? ones. Those are the ones the calling to me. Oh boy, birds. Birds, 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 birds. Oh, these fruits are really fun too. Oh, there's so many great pieces here. How do you choose? I have an entire bedroom. Oh my gosh. How much are the bird? Those are 15 each. 15 each. I don't see a bougie in there, so. These are one to five. There are some fascinating ones in here. Okay, let me see if I can get this open one-handed. There we go. It says one to five. So let's see what we got in here now. Let's see what's calling me first. Gosh, I love this one. I love that one. And I kind of love that one. And the monkey with the googly eyes is definitely calling me. And let's see. That's a pretty stunning bird. I like him. Oh, how about the elephant with glasses? Come on. Look at him. Yes. Take him. And I'm sorry if I didn't grab the one that you wanted me to. Let's see. One more elephant. One more elephant. Okay. One more elephant. Okay. Jewelry is just so easy. And now every Wednesday at 1 p.m. I am selling jewelry or purses or both or something small like this over on Whatnot. So please be sure you join me over there. There is a link down in the first comment of this video that you can claim $15 to come and spend if you haven't come over to Whatnot yet. So I hope to see you there. All right, I spent $122. Now keep in mind that 30 of that, or 30 or 35 was my little turtle brooch, which I bought for myself. I did not buy that to resell. The rest I will be reselling. Maybe next week, maybe on Wednesday. Wait, it is next week by the time you're watching this. This week. This week on Wednesday, Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific time. That would be when, if you saw any of those pieces that you would like, Whatnot is the place to be. Look at this cool chair. It's the kind of stuff I really like. wish I had the talent for because I love the way it looks. Okay, let's see what's on this little goodie table over here. Oh my gosh, look at the candle holder with the bulldogs. That's fantastic. This space looks cool. Look at the old cigarette advertising. Crazy how much that used to be a part of our everyday life. Everywhere you looked, you had the uh, Cigarette advertising. Hall Autumn Jewel Tree. Oh, somebody's doggy. Ah, Siegfried and Roy. They are no longer with us. Oh, 
Oh, these are cool. I love these old copyright 1893. They're probably like hand tinted off of a black and white. Those are really cool. Soapstone. Oh, the little elephants. I don't know. It's another one of those things. When things aren't priced, I'm not not super motivated. Like, that's Majolica. Unfortunately, it's got a crack. But uh, it's got to be really super special for me to ask the price. Otherwise, I just, yeah, I just kind of leave it. Oh, look at those. Let's see. Five dollars each, this table. So that means each one of these is five dollars or this set is five dollars. They are coming apart a little bit, unfortunately. But I do like knowing that everything on the table is five dollars. Ooh, and it's really hot. Really, really hot. Yep, there it is. Welcome. Welcome to Vegas and uh, like one day of spring and now it's summer. <laughs> it's how it works. But the good news is our pool is warm enough to jump in. I think Rachel's going to be swimming today, actually. Oh, look at him. Little coin purse. Handcrafted needlepoint by Union Trading Company. I don't think he's vintage, though. I think somebody just made him. Yeah. Glass and collection. Feather. Hmm, okay. Duncan's spinning top spares. Let's see what else we got in here. A little. And those are, that's five for the set. I'm liquidating, so. Little dancers. These are interesting. Uh huh. Now that I'm getting more and more room now. Well, that's good. You're selling stuff. I'm You're getting selling. room. Yay. Yeah. Duck Dynasty mason jar glass. The turtles today are going to kill me. They're just going to all kill me. How much is he? Yeah. How can I live with... Oh, how can I live without him? I cannot. I cannot live without him. He must be mine. Oh, that's his backside. There we go. Let's see if there's any other. Oh my gosh, look at these glasses. Oh my gosh. Those are fantastic. Ooh. That's cool. That's a cool piece right there. That is a cool piece. Yeah. These candles? Yes. Little candles. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. So cute. We don't do candles, but I appreciate cute candles. Oh my gosh, and look at all the food trucks. We're going to have to try something over there, too. When I go shopping, rust and dust are a must. I like that. I like that. I like the rust and the dust. Lots of very primitive looking things here. Look at these little ducks. Those are so cute. It's not really hoarding if your if your stuff is cool. I like that too. Let's see what we got. Peacock feathers, more peacock feathers. So much fun stuff and variety. I think that's what I love the most about these kind of events is the variety. Every dealer brings something different, which is kind of why I'm doing what I'm doing at the good stuff too. Everybody brings something a little different in to all the different spaces. Just makes it fun shopping.
Pretty chairs with birds. So all of those who watched my previous video where I said I was looking for things for my new house, I actually am just manifesting. I have not, I have not gotten the green light yet. You know how these things go. It's back and forth and back and forth and negotiations and all that stuff. So no, it's not for sure yet, but we're working on it. So they're also doing a car show in conjunction with this. I should have brought Noah down. He'd have gotten a kick out of it. Let's see what little goodies are in this space. Ooh, jarts, you know, you cannot sell those anywhere anymore because it may cause serious or fatal injury. Yeah, they put it right on the box. You just can't even sell them. Lots of fun little stuff. Let's see, goodies here. I see another turtle. I might have to find out how much he is. He's Onyx. He's just two dollars. We're gonna add him to the collection. He's fun. Oh my, that's very primitive looking. Ooh. I like the blue on these Little candle holders. I might pick those up to put some of my crystals in. Yeah. I think I might pick these up. 25 for all, and there's got to be at least 25 of them there. Let's get those too. Love the color on that bowl. Looks like Viking. Okay. There is so much activity going on. Oh, look how cute he is. But it's like it's a kitty day for me. Oh yeah, look who I look who I met up with. Oh, he's cute. Everything in basket, $5 as is. Aw. My favorite, rescues. Hi. Hi, how are you? You know how I love me some rescues. Oh, that is a pretty Hager. Oh, I like those plates. I like those plates. So much cute stuff. Look at this guy. He's screwdrivers for his tail. It's $125. And then look at the grapes. That is a great light too. Fun stuff. I'm now inside the mall looking around and seeing if we can find any treasures. How about a big old palm tree? Wow, can you imagine the house that that came out of? Now, if I put a file cabinet in my office, I want it to be a big oak one. $2.95, we'll see. Now I know where I can find one. Well, you know, I'm a fan of uh, the cubbies and shopping the cubbies. It's a little uh, Westmoreland fairy lamp. It says as is, the chip on the top. Oh, it's really tiny, really tiny. Let's see what else we can find in here. I have been getting so many great things at thrift stores and the swap meet that I'm gonna be a little picky about what I pick up and the price I pay. Plus, I know I can come back here and get this stuff anytime. Well, you know, unless somebody buys it. And that's okay too. There's enough stuff for all of us. How about a blue swung base? It's $36. It's a little baby one. I would like it if it was a little bigger. It's pretty though. 
I have two of those. Treasure craft. Love them. I actually use them at my parties. They are my personal party chip and dippers. Army stuff. This is a fun booth. I do like it. I like that they've got room to set up like a whole little living room vignette here and have space to sell all the smalls. I have found some cool glass in this space. There's our water fern. Really pretty. Hmm. Nothing grabbing me today. Here are oodles of salt and peppers. Usually I find a bluebird of happiness or two. But I don't see any new ones this time. I do see another turtle. Oh, goodness gracious. Now, is it worth me getting somebody to open this case to get that turtle? We'll see. We'll see. If somebody comes along and it's convenient, I'll do it. He's priced right. I see something fun. He is a little wood beaver nutcracker. He's 25, but how fun is that? There's a Tamala Pottery Dove. Ooh, there's a Raw Edge Bowl. You know I love to pick these up. Ooh, and a frog. He's only 14. He's actually pretty magnificent. Hmm, okay. He's a definite maybe. This is one of my favorite booths in the mall. All of the amazing mid-century things that they have and properly identified as well. Look at this guy. Oh, he's great. This is Murano, definitely Murano. Look at that bottom, just what you want to see. Got some amber moon and stars. Oh, that's pretty down there. Oh. This is cool. Blanco. Big old. Blanco's just chunky. That's what I got to say about Blanco. I don't know if you can see there's like stripes inside this, like striations. And it's an amberina. You can see that too. And I'm wondering if it's got a glow to it. I might have to break out the black light. This piece is $45. Calls it an ashtray, but man, there's so many other things you could do with this. It's pretty awesome. Just as I suspected, look at the glow. I mean, it isn't just a little glow. That is an amazing glow. I almost want to get this piece. Like, I'm just fascinated by it. And it's a good teaching piece. So, I think I might go ahead and grab this one. Look at these amazing candlestick hold. Oh my gosh. Such cool stuff, and it continues. It continues over here. I've gotten quite a few things from my personal collection from this space. Over here, oh, look at that. Bittersweet swung vase. That's pretty amazing. Opalescent green taste, gorgeousness. Oh, look at the birds. Those are awesome. That's only $28. <gasps> I kind of love it. That might be coming with me too. Look at all of the enamel on copper mid-century pieces. That one is signed. Many of them are signed. 22, 28. Those are really good prices on those. And of course, everybody's favorite, the Lucite candles. It's a whole set for $75. I know, I'm really debating this set. It's all five of these pieces for $75. Just the candles are worth $75. Mmm, what to do? Look at this fantastic guy. Oh my gosh, he's $35. Love him too, love him too. 
I can't buy it all though. Just can't buy it all. Oh, look at that piece of Empoli. I missed that. Wow. It's another beautiful piece. 40. 85 on the summer so. Really nice glass. This booth is kind of drawing me in. With all the little colorful stuff. Oh, he's fun. Look at him. He's a grossman. There are some drums going outside. I don't know if that's coming through, but uh, it's an interesting effect. Look at that fun chicken. Isn't she sweet? Oh, Rachel's got a thing for chickens now. We want real chickens, but not until we have our own home can we get real chickens. I do like that guy though. I might get that for Rachel. Well, he's broken. I believe he's Blanco. Gotta always look for the little hidden treasures. And I've probably missed a bunch of them. You guys tell me in the comments what I've missed. Oh, I do love this fun, fun vintage drinkware. I pick up single pieces of that when I find them. So I'm going to do other fun stuff with them. Oh my goodness, so this dealer just stuffs bags full of jewelry. $25. And I have looked to see, there are some good pieces in here. It's not like it's all broken or anything. Look, a little onyx, a little figurine even. So I thought it would be fun to buy some of these and do just kind of an unbagging whatnot sale and sell it as I go, much like I did the jewelry box that we purchased uh, sight unseen. So I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy these five bags right here. I'm gonna spend $125 and let's turn around and sell it on whatnot on Wednesday. So this is where we have decided to eat. Because what's better than tacos? All right, digging in, chicken tacos, yummy.
was super fun. Uh, and I always love running into my other picking friends here, Tiffany of Thrifting Vegas and the Picker Road family and Laura Caldwell. Laura Caldwell is actually on her way over to the good stuff. I'm so excited. Uh, so you're gonna have to come back and see. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna film that. You might just have to go to Laura's video for that. Uh, but anyway, I am heading over to the good stuff to go finish out the day. Uh, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.